Well, I'm out here with my roses. I guess you guys know what that means. It's time for a sun reveal day. However, the sun really isn't out much, but we do have some natural light. So we'll show off this, these resin pieces really nicely. Hang on. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. So I usually do a sun reveal every so often because, well, resin usually looks a lot better in the sun. Let me give you an example. Okay, so I did this piece here, but usually when you pull it out to the sun, okay, that's not very dramatic, but it's gonna have a lot of nice little natural sunlight and reflection. Let's try that, oh, there we go, a little bit better. So this was the piece that I did that had acrylic painting in the background. And then I did a dark color pour on top of it to kind of do a play on play with the colors. Let me zoom in a little bit. So I was able to create a really, really nice background for doing some drawing on. And I know I had another piece I was thinking about setting up for drawing, but this one ended up turning into that because I really like the dark background. Let's see if I can go in a little bit more. But the colors on here are really, really rich and vibrant. And of course in person, you can see some of the brush strokes in the background, which add a lot more to the depth of it. And kind of minty out here. So hopefully this doesn't get carried away. Okay, now for the next piece. All right, this is the one that I did a delicate pour with some uh, white and interference gold. Let me zoom in. A little bit of gold in there. Um, and I think a little bit of the sea foam in there. I think that was it, just those colors. And then uh, used clear in between the layers and did a dirty pour. It came out so cool. I'm probably gonna do another one of these Again, maybe switch up the colors just a little bit, but I really like how the wispiness comes out in this. And it does offer a whole lot of depth in there. And the wood still shines through. So the wood's still a star too, and I like that. And yep, got a couple bubbles, it happens. <laughs> so I usually with my trays and a lot of you guys know this already I will go ahead and uh, sand this down and do a flood coat before I offer this up for sale because a flood coat is a better thing to do when it might come in contact with food all right let's see here's the last tray this was another one of the uh, acrylic paintings in the background uh, for added texture and then did very similar to what that last tray was kind of a delicate pour on top of it What I'm calling a delicate pour with just a couple of colors and a lot of clear and Then swirled that around. Let me zoom in Because there is some fun happening there Whole lot of depth that is only one layer of resin guys I'm trying to pan slow. It's just basically, I think this is white, maybe some gold in there, but definitely some gold interference. Not a lot going on. But you can see, see, you can see some of that acrylic brush strokes in the background. I mean, doesn't that look cool? So that's gonna be a wicked tray for somebody. All right, now, on to the ornaments, and I've got a few. I'm going to just go ahead and zoom in, because I've got quite a few to go through here. Let's see. So, these turned out great, and I think these are the ones you guys are looking for that had the drawing on them. And remember, this is done, drawing is done first, and then the resin pour on top of it. So, the drawing is sandwiched in there. But didn't that turn out cool? Almost reminds me of a peacock feather on that side, but that 
turned out really neat. Now I need to show you something else because I use those same colors and I had some uh, glitter mixed up that I didn't end up using, but I had that scramble at the end and I threw the gl a glitter in with a dirty pour and poured it into these molds. I may have to try to do that intentionally on a tray, but that kind of reminds me of like those fiery Mexican opals. That turned out just crazy good. I see you recognize those colors there. Let's see if I can pull up the other. See, it's the same colors in that, but with the added glitter in that. Now this glitter is a little larger, so it will usually naturally go to the bottom, and this is the bottom here. But some of it did still float on the surface. So, yeah, I think so. Definitely have to do a try. All right, here's the other ones that I did with the uh, drawing on the background. Now these guys have already been spoken for. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if I can focus. A lot of detail on these guys. I have to do new, more doodle ones, I think. Okay. Uh, we're on to another batch. Feels like a two-sided uh, ornament. You never know what you're going to get on the other side. <laughs> Very cool. Those colors turned out really neat. But that's how it lays down first. And then I am able to manipulate it and then they interact on the top. But that's the, the first bit of resin that comes in contact with these acrylics. There's a lot going on in this. Now, I love this one. With the webbing of gold in that. Very simple on the back. Whole lot of fun on the front. Ooh, it's starting to get chilly. This area here seems to glow a bit with the blue poking through. I believe that's the indigo color there. That one's pretty dark, pretty simple. But on the top, a whole lot of fun. Let's see. Yeah, that's real exciting. <laughs> that could probably use some doodles. <laughs> These all have a very similar color palette, just slight adjustments. So, I mean, there's some of that uh, mermaid color there, the same kind of purple, uh, black course. I think I, um, oh, I did a skin coat of black on these guys. That's what happened. All right, let's see. Right after I put this down, apparently I touched it and I ran a string of white through it, but I don't seem to mind it too much. Yeah, it was not real exciting on the back. Okay. And then this is my golden white one that reminds me of a lot of marble. It's got a lot of depth to it. A lot going on. Very pretty. It's even kind of interesting on the back side. And now it's on the ground. Oops. <laughs> okay, I'll have to get that in a minute. <laughs> I'm literally like on the edge of my porch here. <laughs> So that's my torch and tilt. These are all, I believe, uh, uh, with a color 
a black skin coat. So they're all gonna be black on the back side. And uh, these are the guys I did with uh, Tish on her live. So there's several of these same effect, but it, it leaves a lot of nice depth in there. Very pretty. I might get them closer so I'm not stretching so far. And let's see. There's that one. Very simple, it's got a little bit of the green mermaid in the background. A lot of nice shimmer with that. Burr. Very pretty. So if you want to have something on the back side, um, decorate up or cover the side up with um, some tape or something like that and pour on the other side too. That's an option. Or you know what? I bet a photo glued or um, like uh, Mod Podged to the clear before you and, and have the, uh, the photo facing down and then uh, put, pour the resin on top of it. That way the photo is here and then basically you've got this as your background. That would be kind of interesting. Hopefully I'm, you're following that. All right, now this is a little bitty guys. I'm gonna bring you guys over for this one. And even these little guys turned out so cool. My uh, resin was getting super thick. And these I did a smash into the the drips that I had and it see I threw in some of that glitter in there so it got some of that Mexican opal look to it very cool see and it shows through on the back side too but since they were they were thick they kind of plugged up some of the holes I have to figure out what to do I might have to drill a hole through that but uh, these guys just popped out with no problem so I just waited till they were fully cured and put a little bit of pressure there and it just popped right on out of there. Because it doesn't seem like the resin wants to stick on the edges of these things. Isn't that pretty? Very simple. So yeah, so that's my sun reveal. All right. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell to get notified next time I put a video up. There you go.